All right, so I love doing these stories on food and how we eat in America, how we source our food, how we get our food, how we treat the animals, how we treat the farmers, all that. Uh, so Sweet Green in Schools is a new initiative, and what they basically did is they took sort of the average school lunch that they're getting in nine different countries, including the United States, and they compared them. So we're going to roll through some images here. Uh, first up is the United States, and... Uh, so those are chicken nuggets yeah. and some frozen peas and a cookie and mashed potatoes, which actually look pretty good, and a fruit cocktail. All right, so that's not that doesn't look terrible, right? Just no, it like looks, that? It looks, it no, looks, does that look, does that that look pretty ter terrible? Well, there's no fiber on that dish, on that plate, except maybe a little bit in the peas, right? So that maybe. fruit is all sugar syrup. That's right, sugar so syrup. That's, that's a sugar, dessert. Yeah, so that's there's a dessert. Two, there's two desserts. Yeah. I was actually saying not that terrible just because there was something green, because you yeah. see so many of these images, they're not. Now, again, well, as the Reagan administration said, uh, told ketchup us, was a vegetable. There's a vegetable. <laughs> right ketchup there. is a yeah. vegetable. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to keep rolling through these things. So, this look is at Greece. Greece. Look at Greece. A nice Greek salad. That's nice. Some, some, some orzo. Like baked chicken. Yeah. 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 Looks right. like Greek yogurt. That some, looks uh, pretty good. Some spinach wrapped something. This look is South that. Korea. Oh, look at those greens and the vegetables. A little chopped dog. Yeah. What is Brazil, this? Brazil. There's less meat on the Brazil uh, plate than I would have thought, but it looks like there's some meat. Uh, Finland. Again, th they got the sweet potatoes or whatever that is, and they got a, like a, a green soup and the beets, and that looks horrible, but it's healthy. Whatever that is there, that looks good. Italy, we knew Come Italy on. was going to be good. Oh. It looks like a nice fish. Fish. They're giving the kids fish, fish. and a salad and some grapes. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Uh, Spain, look at those shrimp. Nine, nine, nine. Some, some nice gazpacho. Shrimp. Gazpacho. Nine, nine, nine. Which is a cold tomato soup, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Ukraine, even the Ukraine. That looks, all right, there's something going on. We no got some way they have that thing. much food. Yeah, in France. Just look at France. Look at that piece of beef. Wow. That, they don't that, get that big of a piece in a restaurant in France. That <laughs> looks horrible. That piece would, of beef, it's scary to you? I wouldn't eat that with a gun. I'd rather go to the Ukraine and give up my meal to a Russian soldier who's not there. Yeah. Ah. All right, so those those are the nine that they looked at. Now, I know what a, a lot of you in the comments are going to say, but these aren't what average lunch. They're just picking the, what the supposed ingredients are. They probably look a oh, lot Oh, those weren't real there. lunches in, well, in I, those I countries? Well, I think those were, those are sort of the average lunches. All right, The yeah. average idea of it. They probably don't put them on plates that look well, so they nice. Put, right, they put them on Right, the, they the made the them look, they plate. probably Instagrammed it and filtered yeah, it and yeah. all that stuff. Um, but is it no surprise to you that the U.S. is the worst? I mean, no, unquestionably. I'm not at all, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we eat incredibly poorly, and uh, we start eating incredibly poorly. You know, it's really hard now. I mean, I'm trying to feed my two-year-old. You know what's funny about uh, my, my kid's going to turn two next month, which means that right now, you know, we say 23 months, but she's one. Like, until you're two, <laughs> you're one. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, you know, I get mad at her. I'm like, Josie, you pick that up. And I'm like, she's one. She's Who yells at a one-year-old? Uh, yeah. So, but ben, you're but 40 said, something. You right. still haven't. Uh, but you can't out all get that stuff kids now. to like. It's hard to get them to eat well. But you got to train it early that it's okay to eat broccoli because I don't want. I do not want my daughter eating like me. I don't. I like that yeah. you said train it. Yeah. I like that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> that well, was, we did a story before about I'm loving very, your dogs and yeah. he's training his child like a dog. <laughs> I'm very appreciative that you said to uh, train it. Train it. Uh, Why can't we get food right that. in this country? Every time we do one because of these we stories, no, we're always the worst. We're always the worst. Because we have no food culture in America, right? So Americans were a bunch of uh, pilgrims and shit that didn't know how to cook, and they had to ask the Indians how to make corn. And so that's what it is. You know, Italy, they have their own culture of food. You know, Japan, they have their own culture of food. America, our culture of food is fucking Cheetos and McDonald's. Right? We don't really have a culture of food. Right. And that, I think that's why. But as a melting pot nation, shouldn't we now? You would now think that we have so many immigrants from all over the world, what are they saying? White people are going to be the minority because we and learned by the time we're done we, with the show. Because the corporate structure here and that we learned how to make food incredibly tasty and incredibly cheap and incredibly accessible. And it turned out it was incredibly unhealthy. Yeah. But that didn't stop people from making that food because it was too profitable. And they're still right. making that right. food. And, that, and it was driven by the desire for a profit margin and they figured it out in the 1950s and then have expanded and grown it. And we all fall victim to it. I mean, I, I drove home last night from a movie. I saw Hot Tub Time Machine 2. I'm sorry. Bragging. Jesus. Um, and, uh, and I stopped at a KFC and got one of those chicken pot pies that I saw advertised because literally, if you advertise something on television in front of me, I will <laughs> Go buy it. You're a good consumer. And man. it was delicious. Oh, yeah? It was so good. But how did you feel after? Because for me, when I go to these Fantastic. places, I don't... Fantastic. Yeah, you did? Yeah, did. you did, really? The chicken pot pie, it's somehow, because there's like... You know it's bad for you, because it's like just this thick cream sauce. But there are... You're like, oh, I just ate a carrot. 
<laughs> Yesterday I went to this place called Beer Garden in Pasadena for their burger, and they put it on Hawaiian rolls. Oh they're, yeah, Hawaiian rolls. Oh, they're so sweet. Mm -hmm. and, oh, no, they're, so, they are. they're so good. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Yeah, I hear right. pe people are talking about this butter burger at Jack in the Box, which I haven't gotten yet. Oh, I haven't talking it. about. What's yeah. the butter burger? It's what you think it is. It's a it's, it's a burger cooked in butter and then a bun that has butter on it, and it tastes fantastic. Yeah. Well, if you're gonna do butter, people, if I know one thing, do the grass-fed butter. I like Kerrygold. Uh, what do you think? Are you on the grass-fed butter? Are you using coconut oil? I love coconut oil. Let us know in the comments right down below, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>